On this Alberta ranch, it's been so hot this year, you can almost see it. The ground here bone dry. The wait for rain nearly as long as the coolies that carve through this part of the world. We're less than 50% average moisture for rain in the last two months. And now the prairie is just burning up and there's, it hasn't really greened up at all. Making it difficult for the cattle that graze here to find food. This looks pretty dry. What should it look like? Yeah, it's extremely dry. A lot of this is last year's growth and it should be lush green and you should be very hard to tell what last year's growth was. So again, really nothing to, for the cattle to graze on this year. They're gonna live on last year's growth and then once that's gone, it's gone and we'll have to make some decisions. Those tough choices include selling off part of his herd, a necessity after four straight years of drought here with no end in sight. These warming trends will continue and the impacts on uh, drought and on extreme events will be increased in the future. Well, that shift driven by climate change means agriculture producers need to adapt. More efficient uh, water use, reduced water, and deficit irrigation. These are the methods that are done in other parts of uh, the world. And they're happening in southern Alberta too. Farmers here embracing change out of necessity. What does a farmer need to do to succeed moving forward? Like we always had, we have to adapt. So we adapt for, you know, technology. We'll use irrigation, but more precision irrigation. We use different crops, with different genetics that allow us to make more efficient use of the water. But even those steps aren't enough to save some crops. Those little roots are chasing moisture right now. And if we don't get rain, um, it'll just die. These fields just down the road aren't able to be irrigated. There simply isn't enough water to go around. We probably won't take any crop off of here. This, these plants have started, but uh, they've got no moisture to chase down. Many grain farmers here will likely turn to crop insurance after another long, dry year. Ranchers don't have that option, something they'd like to see change. Both are looking to the sky to give them what they really need this year, more rain. Aaron Collins, CBC News, near Iron Springs, Alberta.